Hey Aries, this is Kay with Good Karma Tarot, and this is going to be your reading for October 2020, your spiritual development reading. Your spiritual development reading. Okay, so I already got the cards out. Oh, I didn't roll your dice. What do we got for Aries? Okay, so we got the number one. I don't know if you guys can see that. So the number one, it actually suits you because you guys, you guys are very good leaders. And this is also representing a new beginning that could be taking place in your life. Or this could just be you taking charge of your own life. Which makes sense with the cards. I already have four cards out and then we're going to clarify. So the very first card that I got for you is Joy and Stability. And I don't know if you can see, but the, it looks a little different on the ca camera. But there's a lot of yellows and also oranges. So yellows represent your solar plexus chakra. This is where I'm picking up confidence is the biggest energy. So this has everything to do with your confidence. Now with the orange, that has to do with the sacral chakra. So this is your emotions and your creativity. And they're both side by side. Um, okay. So... I'm not going to go in order of the cards because I'm being drawn to the darkest fears and this is the nine of swords so you might have a lot of fears coming up for you right now you might be overthinking things you might be in your head about something um, regarding your situation this could also represent something going on in your home life with darkest fears and then also home and stability because this is also representing your home but you have two nines here um, we have a nine with darkest fears a nine with um, well-deserved reward and also I'm being drawn this is the high priestess okay and if you look closely, there's several circles uh, within a circle in this picture. So with both nines and the circles, it's kind of like you're completing a cycle, a karmic cycle. Something that's brought you a lot of fear, um, a lot of an energy, again, of overthinking things. And with him being on top of this building right here, it's like this is something that you're overcoming right now. So you could have a lot of insecurities coming up or uh, family issues, whatever this is for you, but I see you overcoming this, which is absolutely beautiful. So let's go ahead and get into clarification and see where this goes. This could be love related too. It will be different for all of you. Alright, what is this joy and stability? Could be a marriage. Okay, for some of you, you could be considering separating with someone, or you could be dealing with a Libra or a water sign. Because we have justice, which can be divorce, separation, this can be um, something karmic that's going on in your life, you dealing with a court case, whatever it is, again, it's going to be different for all of you. But something is definitely changing, because we have the King of Swords, and if you see at the top right there, there's a butterfly. Butterflies rep represent transformation. So something is transforming in your home or within your life. What is this King of Cups? Okay, and there you are at the bottom of the deck. That represents your energy, Aries. And then we have the world, which I was saying earlier, you're completing a cycle. So it's like, 
kind of like you're taking control of your life. You could have been dealing with, because um, this is clarification for this King of Cups. King of Cups is Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. And then with the Knight of Wands with it, you could be dealing with the immature energy. Yeah, there could be some things going on in your life right now that just has this, pl this not playful, this immature energy surrounding it. Um, impulsive as well. Okay, I'm gonna, let's clarify the high priestess so I can get a better idea of where this is going. Also, some of you might have <clears throat> a choice to make between two people. That's good. This is the second time you've come up in this reading. Well. Yeah, you got you have a lot of yellows. A lot of yellows here. Because we have strength. And then we also have the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Wands. And there's so much yellow in each of these cards. So I don't know if you took a hit to your confidence recently or in the past at some point, and you're finding the courage to build that up again so that you can close out this cycle of, I, I keep getting insecurity for you. There's something, there's some kind of insecurity and it could have to do with this justice card back here. I'm not really sure, because there's two kings, so I'm not sure, like, they, for some of you, there, somebody could have treated you like an option, or you could have been cheated on, some, something like that. Something that destroyed your confidence, for sure. Something destroyed your confidence, and you're having the courage to build up your confidence again. You're finding the strength to overcome this. This also represents Leo. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo, but I see this more as you gaining the courage to overcome this. And then we have the Queen of Wands, which is representing you. And it's interesting because the way that the cards are, it's like this on the table. So it's kind of like you're, you're taming this beast and then there's her, she's looking away from it. She's looking away from the past. And she, so you're like, you're stepping into your power and you have this inner knowing, Some you know there's something that you need to do but you might be very afraid to do it but whatever this is, I see this as a wish fulfillment for you. And then we have the Hermit at the bottom. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. But I'm seeing this more as... Scorpio just got something similar, like... You're, you're going within... But it's, I don't really feel like you're going within to like look at the past, contemplate the past or anything like that. I feel that you're going within to build up your confidence again or to find the strength to do something. The Nine of Cups could be your happiness too. This could just be purely about your own inner happiness. You want to find, you want to find your own inner happiness and you're going within to do that, to understand yourself better so that you can, yeah, because I, I didn't even think about joy and stability, yeah. So it's kind of like you just want to be happy and like something, it's like your passion and this courage is being ignited within you to go within 
to identify what's really going on so that you can experience this inner stability and this inner happiness that you're searching for. I feel like you're tired of the games, you're tired of the karmic cycles, karmic situations, and you're going within to find your own happiness. And then we have the Eight of Cups in the bottom too. So it's like you're, maybe you're not walking away from something, maybe you're just walking away from the past, you're leaving the past in the past. And you're going within to search for happiness. Yeah, because we have the Two of Pentacles too, so you just want balance, and that could be the Justice card too. You're leaving the past in the past, and you're going in search of what it is that you really want, what it is that makes you happy. Okay, let's get Darkest Fears and see what this is about. So I'm definitely getting anxiety about something for some of you. Okay. Um, overthinking things. But the good news is it's a nine. And this means you're coming to the end of a cycle, a major cycle at that. So I feel like this is a huge lesson for you. Oh, okay. So clarifying the darkest fears. We have the Two of Cups, which is soulmate energy. And then we have the Three of Pentacles, which can also represent a partnership some, and also somebody that you work with. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles. You've invested a lot of time into something. So maybe for some of you, you might be, you've invested a lot of your time into something or someone and maybe you're just afraid that it's all for nothing. And then we, yeah, okay. So we have the devil, which is Capricorn energy on the bottom of the deck. And we have the five of swords and the four of swords again going within. So you're afraid that Either you're afraid of this devil energy, which is representing toxicity in your life. Either you're afraid of this happening again, or having a relationship or something that ends up being really toxic for you. Or you're afraid that what you're investing your time into isn't even good for you. So I feel like, especially with the Four of Swords on the bottom, and then we got the Nine of Swords again, but this time it's in reverse. And the Four of Wands again, upright. So it's good because this is all with the Nine of Swords, which is this darkest fear energy. And that's upright, but this time it's in reverse. So it's like, it's kind of an energy, like how am I gonna pull myself out of this? Now I do have to say, some of you might have addictions with the devil here, okay? Um, this can be physical addictions. This can be codependency. Um, or this can just be a negative thinking pattern that you have, it's keeping you stagnant. So you're really, you're, you're going within and you're contemplating and you're like, how am I going to pull myself out of this? And then with the five of swords, it's like, it's kind of an energy, like you've been battling something, you've been in battle and you're tired of that. You don't want to experience that anymore. You just, you want a loving relationship or a career that suits you, whatever this is, like really at the end of the day. I, you just want to be happy, is what I'm seeing. You don't want to have to worry about these things. Alright, let's keep going. 
Okay, so now we're clarifying a well-deserved reward. What is this about spirit? See, it's good because your dice was number one, and then I saw the emperor earlier. So, again, it's kind of like you're taking charge of your life. Okay. So, over well-deserved reward, we have the hangman, which is Pisces energy. And then the Queen of Cups. And the Ace of Pentacles. If you have Scorpio in your chart, go check out your go check out the Scorpio reading I just posted because it was some of the same cards and similar message with the Hangman. It's gaining a new perspective on something. It's taking a pause and taking the time out to enlighten yourself on something or to detach from something that's toxic for you. And I feel like with the Queen of Cups, you you're really trying to get yourself back into a place of being loving and nurturing. Um, some of you might be very intuitive because this is an intuitive woman, a psychic. And then yeah, we have the High Priestess here, so... So it's kind of like you know you need to take a pause and you need to reflect and go within. Yeah, before something new can come. For some of you, you could be starting a new job soon. I do see a new career for some of you. Also, this can be getting the resources that you need, um, getting a loan, um, anything tangible. But with the Magician at the bottom of the deck and the Eight of Pentacles, it's like you're, manifest, you're manifesting something new. Something that you've really been working on. And it could be your self-worth because confidence did come up. So may, maybe you've been working really hard on building your confidence and finding happiness within yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna get a couple messages uh, from this deck. I have no idea what it's called, I don't remember. And I don't really know why that's blurry. Hopefully it hasn't been blurry the whole time. Camera. What do we have for Aries? your process okay Aries try not to rush your process understand you know like trust me I know you're a fire say you're a fire sign you want it now I get it I'm a Leo but this you know this is something I had to learn too. you know take your time with things take your time with this because this is your own inner growth you know and you don't want you don't want to rush your process I'm definitely get, getting that for somebody and then we also have begin to explore. So this can be you going out, applying for a new job, um, going on a date, like whatever your situation is, it's giving something new a chance. Now the other way I'm seeing this is, you know, the you needing to have more fun. Um, go have a girls or guys night. 
go on an adventure, go do something that makes you feel good because you want to get on that vibration of the joy and stability here that has come up for you so many times. So it's kind of like an energy for some of you where you it's kind of been like all work and no play and spirit is really saying you know go have fun go try something new go explore go do something for yourself you know when's the last time you did something for yourself yeah and then the bottom of the deck we have correct your mistakes and that's pretty self-explanatory um Really, I feel like it's just about holding yourself accountable for your own happiness, you know? Instead of placing the blame on somebody else or your situation, no matter how difficult it is, this is about you really taking accountability for your own happiness. Being like, okay, well maybe I could do more um, to be happy. I mean, it's, it's that simple. Like, if you're doing all the wrong things, the things that you don't enjoy, and then you're asking yourself, you know, why aren't I happy? Or if you're one of those that re resonates with um, the confidence, if you're looking in the mirror and you're judging yourself, you know, that's not benefiting you. That's just feeding your insecurities more and more. So look in the mirror and fill yourself with confidence, you know, tell yourself, I love you. Um, tell yourself, I am confident. This is going to create a belief for you. This is going to create that belief of confidence for you or whatever it is that you desire. Apply it to your situation. But really take the time to do those things so that you can pull yourself out of this. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here. Um, you guys have a great month. See you next time.